Now, let's talk about fiber mesh. So I'm going to go in here, I'm going to alt tap on this character here. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go all the way down here to display properties and make sure double is turned off. If you have double turned on, and what we're going to end up doing is painting a mask where you want our hair to go. If this is on, it's going to have hair go from this side of the normal, at this side of the mesh, also down as well. So you're going to get double fibers. I don't really want that, so I'm going to make double, make sure double is off. So I'm going to go to the side here, control drag to unmask, I'm going to hold down control and lasso. I'm just going to mask generally where his hairline would be. It might be a little low in the front. Let's hold down control and mask pin. We'll back this off just a bit. He's got a very lumpy head here. So now with that masked, I can go down here and there is a fiber mesh option. So what I can do is I can hit preview and now I'm going to have fibers on my mesh here. If I go in here to modifiers, there's a lot of really fun things you can do in here. You can crank up the max fibers to get more, or you can crank them down to get very straggly fibers. You can go in here to the length profile and you can crank this up to get very long hair, or of course go in here to get very short hair. So I'll go ahead and keep this kind of longish. And then down here you're going to have coverage. That's how wide those hairs are going to be. So if you want to do hair cards, you can crank up this coverage. And in fact, you can go into this width profile and you can crank this all the way up. And then here you have scale root and scale tip. If you want the root to be the exact same size as the tip, just take this root and say one and the tip and say one as well. You see twist is at 18. You can crank this up and it'll twist around. There's not a lot of geometry in here for it to twist. So let's go ahead and take this coverage down so we can see what we're talking about here. So you see it's uh, twisting down here. If I want more geometry, I can take the segments and I can crank this up. So now we have more geometry, which are segments, and now that twist is a little more obvious. If I don't want any twist, just type in zero, and now you got straight hair. You're going to see it's also colorized, so you can go here and you can change the base color to whatever color you want, and the tip color to, again, whatever color you'd like. You can also turn base color and tip color down to zero, and it won't inherit any color. You can inhabit, you can have it inherit polypaint, though. If we go over here and we turn off preview, and we unmask, and we go through here with a polypane. Let's turn on RGB and Z add off for a standard brush, RGB intensity 100. And we'll go through here and we'll paint orange. And then I'm going to go in here and paint blue spots. And then I'm going to go back in here, hold down control, and we're going to mask lasso where we want our hair to go. And we do preview fibers here. We're going to take that base color all the way up to one, and that's going to inherit our polypaint. So we have, again, orange with blue spots. Now we have orange with blue spots. We want to see that a little bit better. Let's go back here to our length, and we'll turn this down. And our max and our coverage, we'll turn that down. And our max fibers, we'll turn that up. And you're going to see, again, these fibers are inheriting our underlying polypaint. Now you're going to see it's also kind of leaning over here to the side. If I go over here to the gravity, and I, uh, I have my camera set so we're straight up. We change the gravity to one, it's gonna fall straight down. If we change it to zero, it's gonna go just out along the surface normal, and then negative one, it's gonna go straight up. So I can actually use that to my advantage. I can go over here to gravity, and as I turn gravity up, it's actually gonna follow the camera angle of that gravity. So we'll go back here, we'll turn gravity down to zero. We'll go ahead and turn base color down to zero because we don't really need that poly paint. Choose a white color so we can see what we're doing a little bit better. We'll go back up here to the length, and we'll go ahead and crank this length up a little bit. And again, you can do this in passes. So you can do one pass where you do very heavy hair. So if you like this hair, you can say accept. In faster preview render, we can say yes. And this will just give us a preview render. So now I have fiber sitting here, so I can go to B, G, brush, groom. We can do like groom hair toss. We can go through here, and we can comb our hair. Now when I go in here to hit BPR render, you're going to notice that they get a little bigger. And what that means is when we go down here to fiber mesh and we go in here to BPR settings, what it's doing is it's subdividing twice and giving it four sides. Now you can have it give you four real sides. That's basically underneath your profile up here. So I guess we can go ahead and do that as well. So we'll go back to our character. We'll control drag to unmask. And in fact, we'll just turn off the poly paint. So here, let's go ahead and mask here's beard is. And we can go back in here to our fiber mesh. And if I want, I can go into Lightbox. So you can do Lightbox fibers. There's a lot of different fibers you can choose in here to do a lot of really fun things. But we'll keep it simple. 
I'm just going to turn on preview. We're going to change our max fibers down, our length profile way down, and our coverage will turn down as well. So we'll get some very fine mesh. And if I want to, I can also go through here and do a masking. Just turn on view mask and uh, the mask will still be there, but you don't have to see it darkening your mesh. If I'm happy with that, go back up here, hit accept, and now I have beard fibers. So I have hair fibers and beard fibers. I can go ahead and say delete the beard and delete the hair. We're going to alt tap the hair, uh, the head again. Let's go back in here. We'll go ahead and just do another mask where his hair will be. Oops, I forgot I had view mask off, so we'll go back through here. Give me a little hair mask. We'll go back in here. We'll say preview. Let's crank up that length profile. And like I said before, if you want to just do hair cards, just crank up the length. And then we'll also put in a little bit of gravity here. Let's change the max fibers down. Let's make these a little bit more manageable so you can kind of see what's going on. So these are essentially hair cards. If you want, you can also go in here. We have 12 segments, so we can make this more or less. And you can also change the profile. So if I put this to four, this will render as, well, it's not gonna render, it's gonna actually make cubes. So when I hit accept, this will be real geometry. As opposed to if the profile's at one, you'll only see that geometry if I go down here and I'll hit BPR render. Then it'll render as a cube. But if I want real geometry, I'm gonna have to go up here and turn that on. But again, if you want hair cards, just keep that at one. And in fact, if you go in here and choose a texture, like a star, you're gonna see it's gonna put that star all the way from the root to the chip tip geometry. So if we turn this off, again, these have multiple segments. In fact, 14 segments, but it's still putting the texture all the way down the length. And this is gonna have an effect when we do our micro poly as well. And if you do a BPR render, it's actually going to respect this geo as I, <laughs> in the BPR settings, it does subdivide it. So we're gonna turn that down to zero and it gives us more sides. So that we don't need at all. So now we can just render stars out of this guy's head. However, another thing we can do with micro poly or micro mesh that micro poly and nano mesh can't do is so if I go up here and I hit accept. So now we have these cards here. I can go all the way down here to texture map. Let's go ahead and turn texture off. And let's go back here to geometry, modify topology, micro mesh, and now if I put any object in here, if I want to make a fish or a leaf or whatever, I'll go ahead and choose a ring for now. I'm going to say, okay, let's go in here to render, draw micro mesh. You're going to see a very faint outline of that ring. Now the ring isn't necessarily going down the right way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a ring 3D, make poly mesh 3D, hit F to frame it in my object here. Let's turn on our floor. Let's go ahead and hold down shift and rotate it so that it's upright. And we'll rename this micro mesh ring so I know which one to select. Let's go back to our character here. Let's go back into micro mesh, turn it off, turn it on again, choose micro mesh ring. And now you're going to see this ring is going again from root to tip. So when I hit BPR render, it's stretching that micro poly all the way from the root to the tip. So again, if I want to make that real geometry, let's go and turn off floor and re-render that again. You can see that a little bit better. Micro mesh is the only one that can render geometry from root to tip. And if I want to make this real geometry, just make sure you have your fibers selected. Go in here to geometry, convert BPR to geo, and now you have real geometry. So that's nano mesh, micro poly, nano mesh on planes, and of course, micro mesh as well.